Hello to all the viewers of Tech Geek SG. Today we have the BioStar T series of the TP67 B Plus motherboard. Uh, it's a new motherboard. It's the P67 chipset, which is uh, supports the new second generation of Intel Core i7, Core i5, and Core i3 processor, and it supports even the ATI Crossfire X. That means uh, there's more than one uh, PCI Express X16 slot. Uh, let's see what. Other technologies that's it that the this board has. Firstly, USB 3.0 super speed at 5 gigabits per second. SATA 3 6 gigabits per second. 100% solid capacitor as well as Blu-ray audio for pure sound effect. As that's what the BioStar claims. Well, uh, Bio Remote 2 is actually a remote controlling of your computer via an Android um, app from the Android market. There's five five phase power, gigabit LAN, six channel audio, dual DDR3, and the good thing about the P67 chipset is that you can you can, you can support up to 2133 megahertz of uh, the the speed the frequency for the RAM that's native. Let me see. There there isn't need for overclocking to be done before uh, if you have a native uh, 2133 megahertz RAM. We have also BIOS Relife, which is resumes and recovers the crash BIOS via a pen drive. Charge booster that's something like gigabytes. Um, um, yeah, I think they copied from gigabyte, which means you can charge your phone, uh, compared faster compared to a normal uh USB. Yeah, uh, and again, SATA six gigabit per second, as well as a USB three point and the T overclocker utility is somehow useless as I as I've tried. Uh, it doesn't detect the, it does detect a motherboard that, but it doesn't. It doesn't allow you to change the multiplier of the CPU, which makes it quite useless because uh, base clock overclocking on the P67 Sandy Bridge processor is quite difficult. Yeah, you can't really increase a lot of uh, uh, speed. Uh, I mean, you can really increase uh, like up to 5 megahertz from the base 100 uh, megahertz. Yep, and GPU that's like. Um, uh, improve any energy efficiency bio remote as well as bios online update so you can see the whole thing is like a big iphone and then well, let's unbox this motherboard firstly you have the t series this one is this is the user manual as well as the uh, drivers and utility cities we have a couple of SATA cables, there are actually three as well as uh, Molex to SATA power cable the I.O. shoe then at the bottom, we have the board itself let's take a look at the board okay, over here we have the BioStar board Okay, socket 1155. This is the socket 1155. So, overall, I can I believe that um, the color combination wise is kind of alright. With that's white, that's red, and the black PCB. And talking about the heat sink, is not really that beefy but um enough for your cooling take a look at the south bridge with the bio star logo all right okay let's take a tour around the motherboard firstly on the top left hand corner we have the 8 pin eps power connector then over here we have the heat sinks four DDR3 DIMM slots dual channel capable insert the same kind of RAM in the same colors to get dual channel support over here we have the 24 pin motherboard connector alright as I said LGA 1155 there's a fan header here we have the first PCI Express 2.2 uh, I mean PCI Express 2.0 
Then next is the PCI Express X1. They actually wasted the slot over here. And we have the battery for the CMOS. And then next we have another PCI Express X16 slot. Then two PCI Express 2.2. Over here we have the South Bridge it's saying pretty cool. Take a look at the side. Alright. Take a look at the side. We have your SATA, SATA ports. On the red ones are actually your gigabit uh three gigabit per second SATA ports which are the 2.0. While the white ones are the gigabit six per six gigabit per second SATA ports. And we have the front panel connectors, uh, an on-board on and off switch, as well as two USB headers. We have another fan header here, and the rest is pretty. And we have actually the front panel audio over here. There's this ITE bridge chip, which provides the it converts the PCI Express lane to your PCI 2.2 because a PCI 2.2 is not native to the P67 chipset yeah and over here at the input output we have the legacy mouse and keyboard port the PS2 an SP diff basically nothing in the middle and two I mean four USB 2.0 and two USB 3.0 we have a gigabit LAN as well as your 6 channel audio. It's pretty, um, I can say, sad to see the limited number of input output on this motherboard. It's really pathetic. But, well, you get what you pay for, right? This board is extremely cheap. In, in fact, I, I, I don't think there's even any board that's cheaper than this Biostar T uh, P67B Plus motherboard. Uh, in fact, uh, if you want to go for a good overclock, uh, do take this spot if you are really, really, really on a budget. Because my i7 2600K managed to get uh, to the maximum of 4.9 gigahertz on air. That, that's kind of amazing, right? On air, uh, hovering around uh, say uh, 30 to 40 degrees degrees Celsius. And actually, if they have a, a BIOS uh, revision to this board, it will be much better because I can never ever go beyond 4.9 GHz. The computer will just uh, it boot uh, it posts, but it fails to boot the OS. Yeah. Okay, take another look before I go off. Okay, this is Yzook from Tagu SG, and see you guys next time.